Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out guys, today we are joined by Fwip to build an epic server spawn in 1.13. That's right. Since most servers are resetting for the new Minecraft update, we thought it was going to be a great idea to give you guys an opportunity to use this spawn as a new server hub so that you can play with your friends all on a new and awesome fresh world. That's right. Anyways guys, I don't think there's a lot more to say for this introduction, so I guess grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. And I guess let's get this episode started. All right, guys, 1.13 server spawn. So I've got to tell you guys, I have had the worst luck with this build in the history of my YouTube career ever. <laughs> So I guess to explain it, a little bit of, I guess, what happened. Uh, we recorded this series in the course of an entire month. And since Whip and myself were very busy during that time, I for once started a new job, moved to my new place, and also had that awesome Switzerland trip, which, yeah, was, was pretty cool. But yeah, there were a lot of chaotic things which happened while making these videos. I guess to introduce the series a little bit more before I get into that, the idea we had was to create an epic 1.13 Minecraft server to pretty much celebrate the new aquatic update of Minecraft. And also of course to give all of you server owners out there an opportunity to use this build as your server hub. If you wish to of course, um, yeah. <laughs> the build will be split up into three episodes. And in the final one, we will be releasing the world download of the server spawn for you guys to use. Oh, and did I mention that this was a collab? <laughs> That's right, we're gonna be doing an awesome collab with Fwip to build this entire thing. So yeah, make sure to check out his video on this build. Go down into the video description and I'll leave a link over there for you to check it out. Anyways guys, so what has happened during this time? Well, we recorded half the footage before I moved to my new place, and for some reason during the move, I don't know really what happened, but I thought that, if, that the footage of the first episode got corrupted while I was moving my, my computer. I tried to load all of the footage up in the replay mod, nothing really worked, it just immediately crept crashing, which was, yeah, it was really frustrating, guys. So me thinking it was a lost cause, you know, I basically lost the first episode. I pretty much left that behind and recorded a combined commentary for Fwip's first video. We then also went along and recorded a commentary for my second episode where I, yeah, I pretty much explained what happened, how the footage got corrupted and why I would only be releasing two episodes instead of the planned ones where we wanted to release three. Well, guys, for some reason, I decided to download the latest version of the replay mod the night before the release of this video. Yeah, no idea why that happened. But once I did that, I realized that all of a sudden, the footage for this episode works like a charm and I'm able to load it up without a problem. So that's great. Yeah, I've got a first episode, I guess. However, I frantically start making and editing the footage of this, put the video together, and then for some reason I noticed that the audio of the first episode, the one which I recorded with Fwip together, is somehow messed up, it gets stuck, and I don't, I don't know guys, it's just unusable. No idea what really happened there. I don't really have time right now to find the cause of the problem, so I guess that's why you're getting a super awesome one-sided commentary of this build from me without flip. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, It's it's been some stressful weeks for me and I hope that for the next episode I'll somehow have everything sorted out and we can have, yeah, a, a much better episode than we have right now. So anyways guys, enough rambling about what happened, you came here for the build. I, I, I guess I at least I hoped you did, right? <laughs> so a main thing which we wanted to focus on in this episode was to somehow incorporate the new 1.13 blocks into the build. Because let's face it guys, there is no point in having a new 1.13 server if you're not gonna be using the new 1.13 blocks. Now am I right? I don't know. <laughs> 
We tried to incorporate the new Prismarine blocks most of all, as much as we could at least around the build, to almost give the build a sort of aquatic and Atlantic feel I guess in the end. Uh, since it is an aquatic update, you know, gotta go with that aquatic feel. <laughs> and to be honest guys, I really like how it turned out. I guess it's one of those builds which you start off and you're not really too sure if the direction is the one you want to go in. However, the more you place down the blocks, the better the whole thing turns out. And it just looks great, guys, really. I really like how it turned out. We also tried to incorporate as much water as possible, since, like I said, it's 1.13, you know, gotta have that water. And also then you'll have the opportunity to show off all of those sweet new mobs and, and the fish, of course that have been added in the new update. And yeah, that's basically what is happening with the build, guys. Now, I think this is also a great time to talk about the sponsor of this project. That's right, guys, we've got a sponsor. Cute Host was kind enough to sponsor a server for the entirety of this project so that Flip and I could meet up to build this awesome server spawn. For those who don't know who Cubed Host are, they are a Minecraft server host who offer people one of the best Minecraft server hosting experiences out there. They're really easy to use, have very powerful hardware, and a really friendly customer support. They always got back to me within 24 hours whenever I had a question. And also guys, to put the hardware into perspective, we ran this server with a 20 chunk render distance, that's right. And we pretty much experienced no lag whatsoever. So I can highly recommend that. So yeah, if you're looking to start off the next epic Minecraft server network, or you know, are just looking to play with a couple of your friends together in a world, I can highly recommend you check out Cubed Host. I'll leave a referral link to their website in the video description for you guys so that you can check out their great servers that they offer. So yeah guys, <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy this three-parter where we build an epic 1.13 spawn. Once again, I've got to apologize for the chaotic nature of this first episode, but that should hopefully be better in the next few episodes to come. So, guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button, and also make sure to hop up over to Fwip's channel to check out his video on this build. I'll leave a link in the video description to his video. However, without further ado, I guess it's time for you to sit back, relax, and... Enjoy the rest of the time-lapse. 